Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Newton Silas and today I'm here with Nancy Grace and today we have a very interesting video to react to by Sheikh Khalid Yassin and it's actually about um, Jesus Christ, how he taught his disciple how to pray. When I say that how to pray, I mean the Lord's um, prayer. All right, so if we get down to the video, we're going to hear what um, Sheikh Khalid is going to say to whether Christians are getting it wrong of Jesus Christ being God or just a messenger. So if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section and I'm going to check it out. So guys, before we get on to the video, I'm a theologian and I make this video not to discredit anyone's religion. This is basically for educational purposes and I believe that at the end of this video, we all are going to learn from it. So guys, let's get down to the video and check this out. When Jesus Christ was asked, O oh Rabbi, teach us how to pray. Jesus Christ gave the Christians or his disciples the Nazarenes, he gave them a prayer that all of you know to be the Lord's Prayer. How many people are Christians here? Don't be shy, let me see. Good. There's enough. Let's walk through, let's walk through, let's talk through the Lord's Prayer. I mean, it's a good prayer. He said, I will teach you how to pray. He said, Our Father, who art in heaven. He didn't say my father. He didn't say my father. If he was the exclusive son of almighty God, then he would have said my father who art in heaven. What did he say, Christians? Our father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Not my name. Not our name. But thy name, he's speaking in the second person. The second person exclusive. Thy kingdom come. Whose kingdom come? My kingdom come? If Jesus is God and he's part of the Godhead, he's one of the three, then he owns part of that too. He should say, our kingdom come. Thy will be done. I'm not being facetious here. I'm quoting a prayer, a prayer that I also feel passionately about. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Who's eating bread? Us. That means Jesus Christ and his mother is both eating bread, isn't it? And if you, if you eat bread, you're going to drink some water or some juice or something. And if you're drinking, eating bread and drinking juice, the body only uses part of it. The rest of it, the body casts out. Now, can you imagine Almighty God eating bread and drinking juice, defecating and urinating? Now, use your mind, Christians. We're not talking mathematics here. We're not talking high science here. We're not embarrassing anybody here. We're not casting aspersions on anybody here. We're not criticizing or condemning anybody here. We're making sense. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Who's trespassing? Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into, lead us not into temptation. God being tempted. But deliver us from evil. God asking himself to be delivered. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Is that the Lord's prayer? Is that the Lord's Prayer? Yes. Jesus made the Lord's Prayer, and he taught the disciples the Lord's Prayer. So that Lord was for him and everyone else. 
That Lord's Prayer that I just read sounds something like what I read from the Quran initially. It almost sounds something like the Fatiha that we recite 27 times a day. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, all praises to Almighty God, Lord of the worlds. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the compassionate and the merciful. Maliki Yawm din Master of the Day of Judgment. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. To you do we worship, thine aid do we seek. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Guide us on the straight path. Sirat al-ladheena an'amta alayhim. Those, the path of those who receive your ni'mah, your favors. Ghayr al-mawdhubi alayhim wa al-dhaleen. And not those who receive your wrath or those who go astray. That's what we say in the Quran, similar to what Jesus said, according to the scripture. No contradiction there at all. That's a very interesting um, video by Khalid Yassin, of course, um, trying to explain the Lord's um, prayer according to the Christian's um, faith and how it's been in misinterpreted. So. Let's hear from you, Nancy Grace, of course, which is the Lord's Prayer almost all the time. In fact, <laughs> almost every day we are praying, right? So, can you explain the Lord's um, Prayer? Of course, Khalid Yassin has explained it based on how he understands it as a Muslim. So, can you explain the Lord's Prayer as a Christian? The disciples don't really know how to pray. Not that they don't pray, like every other person, they pray. And it's very important that you know the principle or the way we should have prayed so that you can get your answer. If it's for prayer, everybody pray, but I believe that some people don't receive their answers. So what is, I think my own opinion that what Jesus was trying to say that whenever we pray, some people can just start praying and start demanding, God, do this for me, do that. So it has a principle that when you are praying, you just thank God. Thanksgiving, asking of forgiveness, supplication and provision. So it has a way we have to pray to God. So he's not really talking about whether God in heaven, but he said this is how we should pray always. Well, that's a very interesting um, video by Khalid um, Yassin. But then first of all, we have to look at the context in which um, Jesus Christ, you understand, says that prayer. Of course, the disciple knew that um, Jesus Christ was going and then that's why they ask him that when he goes you understand know, how do they pray if they are to pray to the father so if you look at it he was teaching them how to pray to god you understand don't forget they are not doing these prayers you understand know, while they were with jesus christ then you should keep asking yourself so how we are they communicating with god in the terms of jesus christ is there any year in the context that says that jesus christ gathered them together and then they were praying to god at the course of his ministry all he was doing is he would be teaching them about heaven teaching them about how they should live and how they should stop this uh, idolatry how they should stop this and that murderers and all those things those are some of the things he was doing, making miracles and all that. But it was not written that he has gathered them and then they are there and then they are just praying. It's just like me gathering people and then we are making crusade and then we are praying to God for miracle. Probably we could have people who cannot walk, some who have lost their sight and then I'm praying to them, laying hands on them in the name of Jesus and the miracle begin to happen. Jesus Christ did not do that, if you look at it. So he was teaching them that when he goes, this is how they should pray. So he was telling them how they should pray to God. And that's why he was saying that, you know, he says that word, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It means as you're praying, you are supposed to begin by what? Exalting the name of God, by praising the name of God, right? Before you can went on, you understand, to ask him to provide for you and then let his kingdom you understand on earth you understand have also here 
on earth too right let thy will his will you understand also be done here in this very earth so he was just teaching them and that's why he said lord forgive us our what, trespass do we or is it written in any way that was uh, in the bible or even in the quran shows that jesus christ in a sense trespass against anyone or jesus christ sins against anyone there's no way in the quran that i i know that i've not read the quran yet but i believe that if there is even a place that Jesus Christ maybe probably commit sin or sin against anyone. I believe by now the Muslim brothers could have said it out even to me or to anyone. But it's not written in the Bible that Jesus Christ transpires against anyone. Talk less of saying he was praying to the Father for him to forgive him his sin. Or in case he has sinned against anyone. Is not in the Bible and I don't think it's in the Quran. So he was just teaching the disciples how to pray and not that he was leading them in prayers. Understand the difference. He was teaching them how to pray and that's brought about this, the Lord's Prayer. So don't say that because of Jesus Christ and instead teach them how to pray means that he was leading them in the prayer. He was not leading them in the prayers. He was teaching them how to pray when he goes. That's exactly what he was doing. And this is what you understand that the Lord's prayer means. It did not mean that Jesus Christ was leading them in prayers by saying those things, you understand, that he says. Jesus Christ never committed a sin. Jesus Christ was a perfect person. And Jesus Christ, you understand, never trespassed that he was seeking for forgiveness you can look at this in a sense logically and think about it look at how it is written in the quran and see if there was a place that jesus christ actually committed a sin and then he was asking for forgiveness from god probably you can teach me if there is one even at all in the quran but as for the bible of course i'm a bible scholar so there is nothing like that in the in the bible but if it is in the quran of course i've not read the quran i have ordered for it but it's taking ages. I have not still received it up till now. Well, so this is the end of our video. If you like our reaction, you should like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any video you want me to react to, don't forget to drop it at the comment section. And I'm going to check it out. Your thoughts and opinion are all welcome at the comment section. And may God bless you. And I see you in my next video. Bye bye.